And if you're anything like me, you've got some discs. You've got a collection and you keep cycling stuff in and out of your bag because you know kind of what you like to throw. But when you get new stuff, you put that in your bag, you forget to take it back out and you mix and match. Still trying to figure out what you like to throw. Figuring out what you want to throw is a big part of disc golf. It's something that I've done over the past year and I've narrowed it down a lot. However, I still cycle stuff in and out of my bag all the time. So project for this off season is the build a bag project. I'll be taking everything in my bag, comparing it to stuff I already have in my bag, comparing it to stuff I already have, trying to refine as much as I can to make sure I have every shot covered while still having all of the discs I want to have in my bag. That being said, what do I have in my bag? We'll start with the putters. I put with Prodigy uh, PA2s. Both of them are this 350G plastic, which Prodigy has rebranded as 300 Firm. This blue one here is 172 grams, whereas this white one is 167 grams. I carried two lightweight PA2s in my bag a little bit ago, felt like they went straighter. Um, and then I picked up some max weight ones that are a little bit similar to the P2s I putted with a while ago. And so I have that little bit of extra weight and that little bit of familiarity. The lightweight ones for farther putts, heavier ones for shorter putts. As for my throwing putters, I carry two Trash Panda inner cores, two great discs, very straight, can hold about as many lines as you can think of. For my utility putter, I have a Lone Star Discs Dillo. I like having the versatile one speed in my bag that I can just throw and it'll sit just right under the basket for a short upshot when I feel like I'm too far away to make a run at the basket. I was back and forth between this and a Berg for part of the season and I ended up throwing the Army Dillo more than the Berg. So this is what I bag right now. As for my primary approach disc, I carry an A1. For me, I like to use this A1 for forehand approach shots because it's very overstable. I know I can get that consistent fade right at the end. For farther shots, I can get it to flex a little bit or just ride flat and then dump at the end, but very consistent disc for me and I love it a lot. Moving on to mid ranges, I carry four different mid ranges. I guess two of them, two of them are the same. The first one I carry is an Emac Truth, specifically in this Lucid plastic. For me, it is a very point and shoot disc. It's very straight and then has a nice consistent fade at the end. This is a mold in my bag that I've carried ever since I started playing. It was the first mold that I got that was in a premium plastic and at the time was more overstable, but it's a very consistent disc. I love this disc a lot. I carry two Latitude 64 fuses. Both of these are Latitude's gold ice plastic. I mentioned it in my other video that I started throwing fuses after my first tournament and I branched out to different plastics and I landed on this gold ice plastic. It's a little bit more gummy than the Glimmer ice plastic that I had my other fuse in. It's a super straight disc that turns a little bit and then slowly comes back. Very good for those just nice straight shots. The hardest shot in the game is just to throw it straight. And this is the disc I can do that with. And my last mid range is a hex. And this is a mid range that I can really power on and if I'm going for absolute distance out of a mid range, this is what I'm grabbing. Super stable disc, it turns a little bit, but is more overstable than the numbers give it credit. Moving on to fairways, first disc I carry is a Prodigy F7 in this air plastic. So it's a lightweight, super understable disc that I can use for a forehand roller that I can cut either way or, or for a scramble shot that I need to go right, but I can only backhand. As for my other fairways, I carry two C-Line Discmania FDs. These are super reliable straight discs that'll hold lines and then just kind of sit at the end. I can get them to hold Anheuser lines really well. They are super stable discs that I love to have. I also carry Castaplast Falk, my primary understable fairway driver <clears throat> that if I know if I throw a flat, will flip up and turn a little bit before coming back at the end. I can usually get to land flat every single time. For my overstable fairway drivers, uh, right now I just have one felon. I used to carry two felons. This one is in Fusion X plastic that's kind of been beaten in, but I love the reliability of this overstable fairway driver. One of the few discs that I am very comfortable forehanding. It feels like a big brother to the A1 where it's a little bit faster. I can flex it even more on longer shots, but I can always rely on its heavy fade to come back at the end. And then I carry two C-Line Discmania PDs, kind of similar to my Felon. It's more reliable for those long pushing hyzer shots. Continuing with the overstable category, I carry two Prodigy F Model OSs, specifically in their Pro Flex plastic is kind of the in-between of a felon and a PD where I can flex it and trust it to come back all the time. This is by far one of my favorite fairway drivers, super easy to flex out. Some would say it's similar to Discmania C-Line plastic. Um, it's slightly different in my mind and to what it feels like to me. It feels a little bit gummier 
and feels like I can flex it easier than my PD. And then finally, onto distance drivers. These have probably been the discs that have rotated most in and out of my bag this past season. The exception of this Avenger SS. Super easy to hyzer flip, but I can get a ton of distance out of it and is super great for those understable tee shots. And then I carry two Dynamic Disc Raiders, one in Fusion and one in Lucid. For me, these are super straight, super stable discs that I can really power on, can get to hyzer flip a little bit, and get a ton of distance out of. This Fusion one is more beat in, so I love using it for those super long distance hyzer shots that has a later flip up than my Avenger SS that I can get just as much, if not more, distance out of it. And then I carry two Prodigy D1s, both of them in 400G plastic. I've cycled through a couple this past season. These are the two I carry now. This darker, more purplish one is my more stable one, and this lighter blue is my more understable one. They've got a little bit of a dome, which gives them some nice extra glide to it and I can trust it to always come back at the end. And then last but not least, for my absolute beefcake of a disc, my D-Model OS, again, in ProFlex plastic, and this D-Model OS, it's a 13 speed, is just a giant meat hook. If I need something in high winds, this is what I'm grabbing. Because of how much I've cycled in and out of my bag, this build a bag project will help me refine and minimize my bag even further so that I don't have as much overlap and try and find some shots that I don't already have.